Hey guys, it's Jim. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to my tutorial series about editing cityscapes in Luminar. Uh, in this one we're going to cover a blue hour uh, cityscape of a French cafe. So let's go ahead and take a look at this image and dive in. Now, uh, cityscapes are, you know, my favorite subjects, frankly, and this was something I shot in Paris. I love the twilight blue hour time of day. You know, the lights are coming on in the city, little restaurants and cafes are lighting up, the sky is not dark, it's still got that blue in it. Uh, and there's a lot going on, which I like. I even got a, a bus passing by, and this light trail here on the right is a bicycle that went by. Um, and so I timed that as well to catch that light trail. So I love those kind of things about a city and these kind of shots in cities. But what I don't like are some of the colors. To me, um, it's not moody enough. It's too bright. Uh, there's too much yellow and there's too much green. And some of that, as you can see, is the light that comes off of these uh, street lights. And I find that in cities, I'm always having to adjust colors to compensate for the look that I want as opposed to the look that I may have gotten. Um, and that's the beauty of the Luminar. You can do that easily. So I've got a few filters over here. I've got tone, and I'm going to use that to adjust the light and uh, balance it out. I've got color balance, HSL, and color temp, which I'm going to use to manage the colors uh, that I'm talking about. And I've got vignette, which is just a final sort of touch. And so let me go ahead and uh, get started. The first thing is I'm gonna bump up the contrast a bit because it's really lacking. And now that makes a huge difference in the photo. I think it already looks better. However, as you can see, it really accentuates the yellow and green. So we're gonna to have to fix that here in a minute. I'm just taking a look at my notes here so I can do what I uh, wanna do and what I did uh, in my practice uh, before I started recording. Uh, I'm gonna take the highlights down a little bit. They were a little too bright for me. And I'm going to take the whites down as well, something about like that. Now for uh, color balance, uh, what I want to do primarily, as I said, is get rid of the yellow. And the reason I want to use color balance is because this bottom slider where it's the yellow and blue, I'm just going to take it on all three sections. That would be shadows, midtones, and highlights. And I'm just going to move it to the right. So I'm going to do a little bit here in the shadows. And you can see what that's doing to the photo. I'm going to do quite a bit more in midtones. Uh, something about like, uh, you know, maybe there, and uh, quite a bit more in the highlights as well. So something about like that. So you can see that made a major impact on the photo. In fact, uh, if you go from that to that, it's corrected a lot of the green, which I love. Um, yellow and green are really close in terms of color, and so pulling away from that yellow towards the blue, I think helps quite a bit. And also, if you look at that going from that to that, it's also created a higher contrast in the photo even though I haven't even messed with the contrast so sort of an interesting observation uh, now I'm gonna do a couple of other things with the colors in saturation I'm gonna take the yellow down because as I said it's just too saturated um, too much yellow so I want to get rid of that so I took that down and I'm gonna take green to just negative 100 so you can see I went from there you can see quite a bit of green and yellow here and of course that yellow is pretty intense to that which I think it looks more subtle and prettier to my eye. I'm also going to take the luminance of the yellow down a little bit, uh, something about like that. I also think I might take saturation down on the orange because these lights over here are picking up a quite a bit of orange as well, so I'm going to throw that in here kind of at the end. Um, and then color temperature. I usually save this one kind of towards the end of my color adjustments just because to me it's really simple and I want to kind of do the other stuff to see what impact they have first. And then I come over here and I take the temperature to the left to more blue and the tint to the right to kind of the more pink. And that's simply a color preference. I just like the look of it. Um, there may be some color theory behind that, but I, I don't know color theory that well, to be honest. So I'm just, uh, you know, I generally just go on whatever I think looks nice. So I'm going to do something like that and something about like that. And again, simply because I like the colors better in that, uh, in that way. So... There's the before, still kind of yellow and greenish even. You can pick out some of the greenish I see in the tiles here. Uh, even though we took green down 100 on saturation back on HSL. But now that I've moved it more to the, the, the tint away from green and towards the pink, it's really impacted the photo. So one more time, there's the before and there's the after of that filter. And I think we're looking real good. All I'm doing now is just going to stick a little vignette on there. Something, uh, what did I do? I did more than that. I did about like that. 
And that's really, it, it sort of uh, doesn't add contrast, but it darkens the edges, which makes it look a little bit more contrasty. So there you go where it's brighter around the edges. And there you go. One thing that you'll notice from the uh, total before and after is there's writing up here that says Brasserie or something. Let me show you. Yeah, Cafe Brasserie. Uh, there's the before. Bright green, yellow. I like the look of the photo, but I don't like the colors or anything like that. And after couple of minutes with a few filters, primarily color-based, but I think we have something that looks a lot more kind of romantic or moody. And speaking of that, this is a good time to go in and get something like uh, Orton or uh, Image Radiance, right? So I might try Image Radiance and just stick a little bit of that on here. It kind of adds that moodiness. Uh, you can brighten it if you want to. I generally, you know, actually I might do a little bit of that. It kind of creates a little bit of soft glow there around the highlights, which is kind of cool. So here's a before and there's the after. Using uh, Losing a bit of the detail here in the um, cafe where all the chairs are, but I don't really care. To me, it's more about the color and the overall mood and the feel of the photo. Uh, you know, the details in the chair is not an important aspect of the photo to me. Um, now, the one thing I haven't done in the photo is something like adding clarity. So, you know, you might want to come back and get some clarity and just bump it up a little bit if you want to do that sort of thing uh, just to create a little bit more depth in the photo or maybe you want to go get structure let me add filters get uh, structure I think I tapped vignette again I did let me delete that um, structure you might want to bump that up a little bit just to add a little bit more punch and then I would definitely mask that in I would just come over here get my brush let's say about like that and mask in some of that structure just to give a little bit of more oomph to that part of the photo. I don't care about creating a highly detailed photo. To me, these twilight, they're all kind of, um, uh, I mean, romantic is the word that comes to mind, moody, um, sort of, uh, they, they just, they feel better if they're not re real detailed, you know, in my opinion. Again, this is just simply my taste, so I don't want to overdo the structure or clarity, but one more time, here's the before. Too bright, generally, to my eye, a decent looking scene in terms of what's going on. You got lines, you got those posts down kind of the left side with the path and that light trail along the fence there, kind of merging down to the bus. So I think your eye is drawn that way, but you can't help looking at the uh, cafe as well. So I like the setup of the photo. I mean, I took it, so I'm going to like it. But um, after, I just think it looks way better. I just think it looks a little bit more interesting and romantic and moody, and that's how I'd edit this one. So that's really it, my friends. I hope that it's helpful. Um, these are powerful filters. Luminar is amazing, as you know. Come back for more. If you haven't yet, um, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts, and I'll be back more with uh, more videos, including more in this Cityscape series. And that's it for today, so I'm signing off. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time, and adios.